When you think about queer history, what images come to mind? Do you immediately think about the Stonewall riots, pride parades, the devastating impact of the HIV AIDS epidemic? Or maybe you recall the protests for human rights and equality, like the fight to legalize same-sex marriage. These are all monumental moments in queer history. But what about the queer history that's happened in our own community? The Edmonton Queer History Project exists to educate not only the 2S LGBTQ community, but everyone about Edmonton's vibrant and storied queer history. One notable story of Edmonton's queer history centers on the remarkable Michael Fair, who began his journey to activism when he was arrested with over 50 men as part of the Pisces Health Spa Raid in 1981. Michael fought back through the courts and ended up winning his case while others had their lives ruined forever. Michael went on to become an influential community activist and became Alberta's first openly gay politician when he was elected to Edmonton City Council in 1992. Michael's courageous advocacy throughout the years led to the creation of many important community organizations that still operate today, including HIV Edmonton and the Edmonton Arts Council. As a result of his tireless community advocacy, Michael has been recognized by having a local city park and a junior high school named in his honor. Another influential story of Edmonton's queer history revolves around Delwyn Briand, an instructor at King's College who was fired due to his sexual orientation in 1991. Delwyn took his wrongful dismissal to court, and after seven hard-fought years, his case was heard before the Supreme Court of Canada, and he won. His landmark case set the precedence for the inclusion of sexual orientation in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which led to the new protections being included in Alberta's Human Rights Act. Edmonton is full of queer history. Do you know about Women's Space, which held dances, campouts, and events that helped to connect Edmonton's lesbian community together? Or how about E2S, the Edmonton Two-Spirit Society, which began in 2001 to promote ceremony, healing, connection, and recognition for two-spirit communities within all aspects of society. These are only a few of the numerous, notable stories and moments that have helped to shape and define Edmonton's queer history. Queer history and queer people have always existed in Edmonton. You just need to know where to look. Through the Edmonton Queer History Project, we have researched and developed a queer history map, downtown walking tours, an interactive multimedia website filled with images and stories, and a new podcast, all designed to help make Edmonton's invisible queer history visible and accessible. Look and listen. You'll find and unearth stories about queer people from the past and present and how these inspiring leaders have helped to bring forth local and national change. As queer youth continue to dare to be themselves authentically and unapologetically, it's important for them and everyone to remember the monumental movements and moments that have helped support them to thrive and be visible and vocal today. We invite you to join us in discovering the people, places, and moments that have helped to shape and influence Edmonton's queer history. We're here, we're queer, and we are everywhere. Help us document and share this important history.